hi welcome to another vlog so i already did a lot of stuff today so i went to my sister's i gave her some stuff from here and a little gift because she's graduating officially we're going to the graduation tomorrow i just got her some of the stuff of her wish list from sephora and they're already shipping to hers so i can't show you that but i also got her this today have one for myself we're obsessed with it it's just this tote bag from a bookstore and i'm obsessed with it and she likes it too so i got her one and then uh oh i didn't tell you so i got a job a big girl job um but for my first like day or two or whatever i need an outfit so i went to get an outfit for the job and yeah i just needed a shirt so that's what i got but of course i ended up buying the whole store as well well not okay i'm exaggerating but i i bought a lot of shit so i'm going to show you what i got i just have the book that i was reading in the bag i was reading this on the metro on the way there and back um si c'était vrai by mark levy this was a recommendation I'm trying to read more french books so oh i didn't even show you the books that i bought i'll show you at the end so this is all from h&m um it was packed in there i waited like 15 minutes to get to a fitting room and then another 15 minutes to pay but this is the shirt that i got for the job i'm going to need to steam this but it's a linen black shirt i have black pants i bought shoes they're on the way here um still haven't arrived and uh i'm going to borrow my sister's blazer that she took from my grandma it's gorgeous i'll show you this is my grandma's blazer how cool is it so yeah that's going to be the outfit for my first day but i also got a few things just for i don't know why i bought these i got these slides i don't know i just think they look cool and i just wanted to wear them around the house um because the ones that i'm wearing my slippers they're falling apart we have black fluff all over the house so these are going to be cute then i just got a bunch of t-shirts i got this pink one it's cropped got the same one in this cream color same in black same in gray and then the last two are a different cut oh my god my hair i got oh let me fix it this white one and the same as the white but in this gorgeous blue i honestly bought all of these because of my sister she told me she found these at H&M and I was like, yep. Finally, I went to the van store and I got these classic slip-on black and white checkered shoes. Um, they're the comfy cush, so when you hold them, they're a lot lighter than the classics, um, but they look the exact same. And yeah, I just don't have the box to show you because I didn't want to carry it. I asked them if they could get rid of it for me. So yeah that's all i got now i'm going to show you the books that i got so like two weeks ago i went and like spent the day buying books and looking at used bookstores and stuff because i really wanted french books to start reading and practice french so that's what i did i didn't vlog it i didn't it was just me i had a coffee and i walked around going into bookstores it was a really nice day so i'll show you really quickly what i got so i bought all of these books one two three four five six books and this whole thing was like 25 dollars used book prices are insane i'll tell you how much each of them cost so this is the one i was reading i am reading right now ici c'était vrai by mark levy this was five dollars and then i got a bunch of agatha christie books for some reason i find her name really difficult to pronounce i got three of her books because i don't know i just thought maybe crime and mystery would get me more excited um this is le crime de l'orient express so this is uh murder on the orient express i've watched the movie if you haven't you should it's amazing uh johnny depp's in it michelle pfeiffer is in it um who else a lot of famous actors are in it and it's really good i also have the english version at home in lebanon with images and stuff it's a really 
cool book that I have at home. But yeah, we're not home. Then I got a holiday for murder. And look, this was $1 for a book. Oh, wait, how much was this one? $5, $1. And then I got Le Meurtre de Roger Ackroyd. Um, $5. For $2, I got Madame Bovary for from by Flaubert. And then I got this for $7. It's Nous les Menteurs by E. Lockhart. This is a really, really TikTok famous book in English. It's We Were Liars. Um, and I just saw it and I thought, why not? I wanted to read the English version anyway. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, might as well read it in French. I used to have this book years ago, but I got rid of it because I couldn't finish it. It was so boring to me. And then fast forward like four or five years, it's famous and I don't have it anymore and I have to buy a new French copy. And then finally, this wasn't from the used bookstores, but this is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Super exciting. Um, yeah, that's everything. So yeah, I can't stand anymore and I need to go eat. Ugh, my back hurts. Oh, the air fryer just... It's beeping right on time. So I'm going to go and I'll probably take you with me tomorrow to her graduation, show you my outfit and stuff, and then we're going to like lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, yeah. Goodbye for now. <laughs> okay, it's the next day. I'm ready to go see the sister graduate. I'm going to show you my outfit though. This is the outfit, just some vans, my jeans, the corset from Zara, nude blazer, and of course the silver bag. I'm sorry, the mirror is dirty. But yeah, let's go. I just took off the blazer so I can talk to you, but I'm going to go to the dollar store first. I want to get her like a kid's crown, because we have this thing where growing up I would always be wearing a crown. And she never was for some reason. Um, and now she teases me about it. So I thought I would get her a crown on her day. And she can wear it. I'm going to make her wear it. I swear I spent my life waiting for the bus. I found the crowns. Of course I bought one for myself. Of course. I ended up having to buy a pair of scissors to take off the veil. But they're so cute. Look. Mira, you better wear them. It took me like a solid five minutes standing in front of the store cutting the veil off. I have no idea where I'm going. Kind of lost, kind of panicking. Fancy. And in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want.
put them on display I'm a beat in your brain Till you're feeling on the pain Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past, start a plan And you find a plan Open it up And find a way to start Everything that you thought You could never do before uh, Never when you think you said it All your passions And before we move outside I want to leave you with one parting message May the force be with you. I'm gonna give her a crown. Well, it will only be with your gift. Unless you graduate. Trying to find her. No way I'm going to find her. She graduated. I'm angry. I've been here for hours. And I'll crown you. No, no, me yeah. <laughs> young. I know. Just don't put it Princess in Aminia sure. Mignonette Thermopolis <laughs> Rinaldi Princess. I'm <laughs> Genovia. I'm going to go to the airport. No, no, no. 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 Where? Oh, but you could have been watching. Bathrooms. It says here. And then we're going to get food, I oh, guess. Such an old lady. Fuck you. <laughs> Tell me I'm not made for a crown. Still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, go. Oh, look at me, I look bronze. It's this area that keeps me from putting my hair up. I think I'm going to go um, to H&M. I want to return uh, the slides that I showed you. Um, wait, I'll show you again. I got these last week from H&M and they're cute and everything, but they're so uncomfortable like this thing is not cushiony at all you can hear it it's so hard um so yeah they're going back i'm going to try to find myself a more comfy pair but i need to return these and buy socks which is so random but it's so gloomy and rainy outside i didn't want to go but it's on my planner I wrote it when I planned these two weeks. <sighs> so I really want to do it. And I have to do my nails today. Also, the ink is still there from the Lebanese elections that changed nothing. I fixed my nail because the ink was all over this. So I fixed it, but you can't really file the inside because that's my real nail. whatever i just got home excuse how i look but i'm too hot but i ended up going into aldo and i found loafers and i bought them i really like this part okay now focus i'm going to show you the pair that i bought before But these are like super heavy. There's a big difference, which is why I kept looking for a different pair after I got these. Because I feel like these won't be comfortable because of how heavy they are. These are more like trendy, chunky, and these are more classic y. But I think I'm going to return these and keep these. Okay, it's the next day. My room's a mess, so I'm trying not to show you. I don't have any makeup on or anything, but I have errands to run, so I'm going to go do it now um yeah today is kind of like a chores day i need to do my nails i need to do the laundry i have one load 
in the washing machine now but i have like four i should change my sheets but ugh, i hate changing my sheets and yeah so since i hate everything that i just listed i'm just gonna go do my favorite part which is running errands aka shopping um it's just some random stuff like floss and stuff like that but still excites me <laughs> anything that has to do with spending money excites me Woo! i might get a coffee from tim hortons as well but i just i'm sorry but i don't like tim hortons i think they're very gross because i i saw them preparing the coffee ones and the food and the, uh it grossed me out honestly but i want a coffee But I have to go back on the bus with my mask on. I can't really drink it, so. You know how they say never go to the grocery store hungry? Well, for me, it's like never step foot in a store that sells snacks or foods if you're hungry. So I just went to Fahamapri and I got a coffee. It's almost done. It's on my shirt. Um, I am going to go return the loafers that I don't want now. Might as well. I'm procrastinating doing my nails and the sheets. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, I'll just do it. But the next bus is in like 30 minutes. So I'll just show you what I got. Um, this is just a nice vanilla latte. <laughs> just floss. Then I got a nail file for my bag. I used to have one from the body shop. It comes in a pretty pink case. But it's one of those... What is it? Crystal nail files. Even the one that I used to have was a crystal one and it broke. I think I dropped it. And it broke, so I just wanted the replacement. But I also got a Kit Kat chunky. <laughs> this is so stupid. What kind of haul is this? It's like a random pharmacy haul. And mini eggs. I've never tried these. I'm gonna try them. It's the micro mini eggs. They look so cute. And all the British YouTubers always have these they're so small my nails are ridiculous they're too long i can't function same as smarties even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Hey, it's me from the future I'm editing this video like months later Cause I took like a Two months break But Apparently I forgot to finish the video uh, so I'll update you on a few things. So my sister's graduation was so cute. I just cried my eyes out just editing that footage. Just all the students standing up and turning and waving to their parents and... Ugh, I can't. I can't. And then uh, the loafers that I bought, well, they're broken. I'll show you. They were horrible. The Aldo ones, horrible. Look at this crap. The whole thing, the whole heel broke. You can see the crack here. Uh, what else? <laughs> I did end up going to H&M that day when I was wearing blue. I don't remember what I did or what happened. Um, and the cars were the Grand Prix weekend here in Montréal. So the streets of like St. Catharines had car displays and stuff like that. I don't know. And there was a souvenir booth for like Mercedes hats and shit. 
and I kind of regret not getting one but it's okay I was very broke then uh, yeah stay tuned for the next video it's gonna be super interesting it's gonna be a moving vlog and yeah I'm in the new place now but I'm not going to show you anything so that's why I'm standing in front of the white wall so I'm going to leave you now don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next week bye I can't do this with the shoe <laughs>